Hey everybody, just ordered some merch off of my art website so that I could have some for some upcoming holiday markets. Um, and I just wanted to kind of show you some of the things that you could get uh, um, if you go to my website, because um, some of them are really cool. There's, you can not only buy originals there, but you can buy um, prints, you can buy cam printed canvases, you can buy framed stuff. You can also get um, mugs and throw pillows and um, some bags and things too. So really excited to kind of show you what each of those things is going to look like. So um, here we go. So I wanted to start with something kind of simple. Um, this is one of the framed artworks that you can get off my website. So uh, this one, this is a piece called On Lock. Of course, you can see the video and the reflection here. So um, and you can kind of see it's framed. It's got some, uh, a, a nice hanging wire on the back, makes it super easy, just one nail on the wall. Um, so that's one of the options and you have lots of different options for frames. So you can get different colors, you can get, um, wood, you can get, uh, you can have a mat around it so that it's not going right up to the edge. So there's some different options for this. Um, again, you can do this with any of the artworks that I have on my website. Um, so it's a it's a pretty awesome ready to hang piece where you don't have to do anything it comes to your house um the packaging for these that come from that just that um vendor is so well packed that you're gonna need some tools <laughs> it was um I, you know they want to make sure everything gets there in one piece so just make sure that you've got some scissors maybe a utility knife um, just be careful when you're cutting things apart because it is very, very well packed so that it gets to you in perfect condition. So that's one of the things you get is a framed print. So another thing, you can also get images printed on wood. So a lot of my work, most of it actually, is um, done on a wood panel. Um, so you can see this is just a solid piece of wood has a little hanging piece on the back. Um, so that's really great. Again, super easy to hang and it's sort of a little bit more substantial, but it's not shiny. You can see too, it's um, pretty matte um, and it looks very similar to the work that I do. So this is kind of a, a cool way to go if you want something a little bit different and that's not a framed print. Then there's this really awesome um, acrylic print option. So this is the, how it comes. This one, um, this is an award-winning piece as of just recently. So that's pretty exciting. Um, it's called Add Attention. And as you can see, it's printed on a quarter inch thick piece of acrylic. Um, and it has these little pieces in the corner. So it comes, um, so that you can screw these into the wall. There's a little hole in the back so that these screw off and then you put a screw through them into the wall and then you just um, screw them back on so that this kind of pops out from the wall a little bit. So it actually is gonna hang about an inch off of the wall, you can see. Um, super modern look, it looks super clean, very cool. I'm really excited about this option. So this is the acrylic uh, print that you can get. So another option that I think looks really great with my work, especially with my um, oil paintings, is a metal print. So again, this is a little bit bigger than the original was. This one's not available. This one is sold. Um, but you can get this on uh, this little green monster. You can get him on whatever um, medium that you want to get him. But this is what the metal print looks like. So you can see um, it's a matte option, not super shiny. And then on the back, it has a wood frame and then it has the wire hanger from there. And it comes with all the hardware that you would need to hang it. It even comes with these little pads so that it kind of holds it uh, in place on your wall. So again, all different options for sizes. You can go in, you can get smaller, you can get a little bit larger. Um, so very customizable, uh, whatever artwork you like the best, you can definitely get it printed on metal. This is probably the way that I would go. I think it looks really sharp, so very cool. So the other way you can go is just a classic print. So I have my original here. 
Um, so this one is called Palindrome. You can see it's a little dog with a halo, a little dachshund. And um, so as you can see, this is what my original artworks generally look like. They, um, they're they on wood panel. I, for the most part, build these myself just because I like to be able to customize the size. Um, but you can also see that you can get this done in a print. So this print's a little bit larger than real life. Um, and it has an edge on it. That's an option that you can you can get on the website uh, where you have a one inch border all the way around. So I wanted to show you an option with that. Um, or you can just get the print without the border. So that's, an, that's another way that you can go. Um, they also have um, matte prints. So I'm gonna show you an example of that as well. Another option that you can get from the website in the prints section is that you can get a matted print. So let's say you have a frame or you um, you have a certain type of frame that you like to get. You can get a matted print here. So you can kind of see this one's the garden. You can see the actual artwork is adhered to the back of the frame. You can see that um, tape line. Okay, so just kind of hanging that way. But once you put it in a frame, it's nice and flat. This one is on a little bit more of a shiny paper. Um, so you have that option. You can pick which kind of paper you want it printed on. Um, there's a smooth uh, version, which is super matte and kind of um, really soft. And then there's more of like a photo paper like this. So. Next, we're gonna talk about the canvas print. So this is a great option. Um, if you want something a little bit more substantial looking to hang on your wall, um, it doesn't need a frame at all. And you can see I'm actually standing in front of the original, also available on my website if you would like that. Um, but this is a little bit more of an affordable version of that. Um, as you can see, another hanging wire on the back, super easy to hang. You just put the nail on the back. Um, really nice quality print. And for this one, I actually opted, there's a dark blue that you can get on the edge. You can get it black and sometimes you can get the image sort of wrapping around. With this one, I thought it looked really nice with that blue and it sort of um, matches the background. So it kind of worked out for this. But um, this is another option for ready to hang. Um, most of these are, unless you're getting a print that doesn't have uh, a frame or, or a border on it, unless you want to hang it like a poster, you could probably hang those up just the way they are as well, but it's a really great option. Um, feels a little bit more like a real artwork, an original artwork. Um, so that's something that you can get as well. And then getting into some of the merch options that are available on the website. So this is super exciting for me because um, not everybody has wall space. I know, if, as you can see, um, I hang things on my walls and I have collected art from lots of different artists around here um, and, and other places. And it's really hard for me to find space on my walls or kind of have to make that decision of taking something down or putting something else um, in its place. So with this option, you can just get artwork that you'll use every day. So for instance, you can get a mug that has an artwork on it. So this one is my oil painting called fried chicken. Um, so that one's a really cute option. And of course it is dishwasher safe and you can, you know, use it like you would any other mug. Really, really nice option. Nice gift option if you're interested. Another really fun, affordable option are these cool little magnets that you can get. So these can come in sets if you want to get more than one. Um, this one is a piece that's called slippery slope. Um, so this one, uh, I think I got a set of five of them, but I've just been sort of giving them out to, to friends because, um, they're, they're great. They're, you know, super affordable and a cute little artwork on them. Um, another option you can get is a throw pillow, which I was kind of wondering, like, how does, how's that going to look? But as you can see back here, um, on this yellow couch or yellow chair I have, um, it actually looks pretty cool. Um, so let me show you what that looks like up close. So this is my artwork called The Garden. Um, and it's a big square canvas. Um, the original is also still available on my website. Um, but this is the throw pillow version. And you can see it's actually really nice construction. The image goes all the way to the edge. I got the zipper option. So you can actually take the pillow part out and you can wash the outer cover and I have a dog and some kids. So I figured that was a good option. So same image on the front and the back, um, but it's a really nice quality piece. 
and it's kind of a fun way to kind of jazz up your furniture because you know sometimes we just have boring stuff and like our couch in the living room is just gray and so having this on it kind of brightens it up a little bit And then we've got some bag options. So what's really great is that you can get any of my artworks printed on a tote bag. Um, and these are really affordable also. I think they're, um, you know, in the 20 to $30 range for the most part. Um, I'm gonna show you the different sizes. So there's three different sizes for these. And uh, this one's the small version. Uh, this is an artwork that I created. Um, I think it's, I forget what the name of it is. Something with turtles, obviously. Um, but this one is really great, kind of a nice size. So it's not overbearing. Um, you know, something that you can just kind of throw a few things in, some snacks always, um, and then you can carry around with you. So there's this version, which is the smallest size. Um, we've got a medium size that you can kind of see here. So this one is called Inconspicuous. Um, this is a, an artwork from an older series that I did uh, maybe eight years ago, I think. Um, but you can kind of see the size difference here. So Inconspicuous is a little bit bigger. Um, this one also has, you know, it's a nice size if you're going to be carrying lots of stuff around. I wish I was taller. Um, so it's kind of a fun option. And then there's a really big option and you can kind of see the difference here. So again, using my Saturday morning. Um, image, which a lot of people seem to like. I think it's, it's kind of one of my favorites as well. Um, and you can see here how much bigger it is than the medium size and even the small size here. So um, this one you can fit quite a bit in. This is, this is pretty large. So um, for those of you who maybe carry around art supplies or um, have lots of kids and you have stuff to carry around and keep track of, all those water bottles that kids make you carry around, even though they said they're going to, you know what I mean. Um, that's a great option as well. 